if you follow good spreadsheet practice, there are times when you need to emphasize to the user where they can work in a spreadsheet, so in this case the blue cells, and where they're not allowed to, where their formulas. To further enhance it, what you can do is actually add protection to the cells. Now in Excel, to add protection is a little bit backwards. Most people refer to wanting to protect these cells. The reality is in Excel, what you should be saying is you want to unprotect these cells. So just to explain this, by default, every cell in Excel is protected. It may not look like it when you're working on it, but if I go to review, you'll see there's something called protect sheets. When I click on it, it says, what do you want to do? You can add a password. There's lots of things you can choose here, but for our purposes, we're just going to protect it. And what you'll see now is every single cell is protected. So by default, a normal spreadsheet, every cell is protected. So when I unprotect the sheet, even if you want to protect these cells, the way you do it is by telling Excel which cells should not be protected. So you can highlight these cells. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Format Cells. And right at the back here, you'll see a tab called Protection. And it's got a little locked tick. What this means is that when you protect the sheet, these cells will be locked. So I can switch that off. When I say OK, even though it l we think it's set up, remember you have to still go to this, do this step. I'm going to say protect sheet. I could add a password if I want. I'm just going to say OK. Now what I've got is I can change this. If I make this a 10, you'll see I'm allowed to do it. But if I want to go and mess with this formula and maybe divide by 3, you'll see that I'm not allowed to do it. This way you can enforce that either purposeful or accidental overrides don't happen. Because in Excel it's very easy to be looking over here and before your eye travels up here and realizes it's a formula, you hit something on the keyboard. This way you at least get a warning.